Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing multiplication and division. This is standard 3.5b in the great state of Texas and we're using item number 22 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work it out on your own, and then unpause it we will look at our answers together. So we have Noah and he's got 48 cookies. So we've got a picture of these 48 cookies and you see we have an X down at the bottom. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to represent some multiplication and division steps, um, but we're trying to do it with a picture. So let's see if we can figure out what we have working here. First, it says he's got 48 cookies. Let's see how he's got these cookies all spread out. Uh, so I've got, these are, looks like they've got bags of six. So we've got bags of six there, and let's count, we've got four and four. So it looks like we did eight bags of six. So once we've got our eight bags of six, then that is going to be 48. But then we did something down here, it looks like we... We got rid of some, we did something, and maybe we took those away. Um, so we've got 6 and 6, so it looks like we, we did that, and we did our 48, and we took away 12. So let's see, 48 and 12. That's going to be 36, or less. Something happened to those bottom two. And that makes sense because if you look at this top chunk right here, look at that, 6 times 6. So 6 times 6, that's going to equal 36. So he had 48, uh, then he ate some, and then he only has 36 left. All right, so let's look to see which of these answer selections might actually fit what we did here. So it says he put 48 divided by 8. Well, I wonder if he did do 48 divided by 8. Because I see dividing twice. I don't see any. I'm looking for 8 times 6. If you just look down this first row, there's not anything 8 times 6. And he did start with 48. So let's see if I can find a related number sentence. So I've got my 8 times 6 equals 48. 6 times 8 equals 48. Then I could do 2 division. 48 divided by 8 equals 6. And then 48 divided by 6 equals 8. So I can make those work. So it looks like I actually have this 48 divided by 8. This right here actually works because he put it into bags of 6, which is what I have right here. So that looks good. He put 48 divided by 8 cookies into each of the eight bags, yes, there were originally eight, and then he ate, that's what this X represents, he's eating something, all the way down he's eating something, two times six, well I said he ate 12, but two times six does make 12, there's two bags of six each, so you know what that looks, well, it looks like it might work actually, let's see what the next ones are, he put 48 divided by six cookies, into each of eight bags. 48 divided by eight into eight bags. Well, 48 divided by six is going to be eight. And he didn't put eight cookies into eight bags. He put six cookies into eight bags. So this is really, really tricky because there are eight bags. But 48 divided by 6, remember that's going to be 8. We learned that right here. And then he ate 2 times 8. No, he didn't eat, eat 2 times 8. He ate 2 times 6. So that's close. But that's not going to be it. He put 48 minus 6 cookies. No, that's not going to work. He didn't. That's 42. So he did not put 42 cookies in each bag. And then he put 48 times 6. Holy cow, I don't even want to know what 48 times 6 is. Um, that is going to be almost 300 way too many. And then at the end we have a 2 plus 6. That's not working. So that leaves us with our answer of F. 